What's going on guys, it's Caleb and today I have a 2007 Buick Ren... Ren... Rendezvous? Rendezvous? So yeah, that. And it's in for an exterior detail. Now, you guys have probably seen this car in the background in the garage and stuff. This is actually someone I know's car that I've been meaning to get around to, but I haven't because of everything that's kind of going on. But now with everything going on, I have a little bit of extra time and everything slowed down to probably about one car, maybe two cars a week or so, which is actually kind of nice because I get to sit back and relax a bit and focus more on the editing because that's what I truly enjoy doing. And yeah, I know it's another exterior detail, but it's what I enjoy. I do interiors, you guys have seen it, but I thoroughly enjoy it to your details especially wheels as you guys know so we're gonna go ahead and start with the wheels and then we're gonna move on to the exterior keep it short and sweet, we're going to go ahead and foam down the car and then move into brushing the crevices. You're going to notice I'm using a different brush because this one needs a little bit more elbow grease, but I am using a PF22.2 foam cannon from Mozomatic with Chemical Guys Citrus Wash and Gloss.
now we're gonna rinse off the whole car. The one thing I wanted to talk about is I'm actually using a, what I believe is a 15 degree nozzle or tip or orifice, whatever you wanna call it on my pressure washer. And I gotta say, it does add a lot more pressure, but I don't have to hold the thing as close as I usually would to the car. I can kinda stand a distance back and spray everything off and get a decent amount of water on it. It's actually super nice. So that's something different that I've ended up changing. I used to use the green one, which I believe is a 25 degree one. Then before that, I used a 40 degree one. Usually you'll see me use the 25 or 40 degree nozzle on wheels, but now with the cars, like on the exterior, I really want to start using this yellow one. It's actually a big difference. Anyways, moving into the hand washing portion, I am still using Chemical Guy Citrus Washing Gloss. I can't help but love this stuff because of the price point and the performance of it. It just works really nice. Now, if I were doing something like deconning a vehicle in order to do a paint correction stuff, of course I would never use this. I would use a pH neutral shampoo, but the results you get from this from a basic exterior wash or a little more in-depth one such as this one, it's just unbeatable and I really recommend it. Now that everything is clean, we're going to go ahead and use a microfiber towel. The specific kind I like to use for drying the car is from the Rag Company. It's a 3070 blend of different fibers and stuff, and it's also in a waffle weave kind of form, so that way it picks up the most moisture as it possibly can. Any microfiber towel really is better than using something like a chamois, but I really suggest the Rag Company's microfiber towels, especially the waffle weave ones when it comes to drying the cars.
I have for you guys this week. So if you like this video, go ahead and show me by leaving a like on the video. And if you like this sort of content, go ahead and press that subscribe button. I upload weekly here. And without further ado, I will leave you guys with the ending montage that I usually do. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the week.